I like to talk about a very important and very beautiful uh, nature scene, nature event. Mm -hmm. It's about the Aurora Borealis. Mm -hmm. We will see the photos and we will see the videos of it, inshallah. Yes. They are very beautiful. Yes, very yes. beautiful. Like they are uh, uh, graphically did it. Like uh, they are uh, computer graphics, but they are not graphics or something. They are created by our Lord Allah in a very beautiful way, mashallah. It's an amazing scene to watch. And so let's talk about uh, how the aurora, the polar lights, seen at the north and south pole regions. We see that when we, like we are now looking at the photos of the mm -hmm. auroras, they are one of the most magnificent sky phenomena which we can see and which Almighty Allah created are all polar lights which are natural light image, image we can see in the sky. We can see it on mm -hmm. the photos. Yes. Polar lights are by their uh, scientific names, auroras, are one of the manifestations of our, Allah, our Lord's Allah named Sani. Yes, mashallah. Mashallah. Which means that the artist. Yes. Mashallah, Allah creates so beautifully. It's very artistic. We, whenever, wherever we look, we mm -hmm. see the details of it. Polar lights are a uh, night luminescence, which mm -hmm. could be seen in the north end and the south and polar regions. And auroras are one of the most invisible effects of the sun towards the earth. The auroras, which can be clearly seen at night, have two names. And mm -hmm. this one seen in the northern uh, hemisphere is called aurora borealis. Mm -hmm. And one we see in the southern hemisphere is aurora australis. These lights can be seen uh, mostly in September and the April. And auroras fluctuate from east to west. Mm -hmm. When you look at them from the earth, they appear in the shape of the bow and lines. And it's only possible to see the full circles of the auroras from uh, the space. When we look uh, from the space, mm -hmm. we can see a circle mm -hmm. as the auroras. But in the world, in the earth, we cannot see it like this. We only see the bow and the lines mm -hmm. way. So let's talk about how the auroras formed. In the formation of this amazing natural show, mm -hmm. it's a mashallah, very beautiful, amazing natural light show, atoms which are very small and invisible to the naked eye also do not have any mind and consciousness undertake a very important role here. Auroras emerge as a result of the interaction of charged particles scattered from the sun with the earth's magnetic field. And the sun produces energy particles and clouds are formed from the joining of these energy particles mm -hmm. called plasma. And this plasma stream coming from the sun is called solar wind. Mm -hmm. Some particles are trapped by the interaction of the Earth's magnetic field and solar winds emerging with the sun and with a speed of approximately 1 million miles. It's an amazing Ma number. Mashallah. Ma it's in per hour, mm -hmm. when we say. And after they enter the magnetosphere, they uh, speed up. When the electrons enter the upper layers of the atmosphere, they face oxygen and the nitrogen atoms mm -hmm. approximately 20 to 200 miles above the Earth's crust. And in this phase, uh, atoms which earn the electrons supported by high energy becomes loaded with the energy well above their capacity. And under normal conditions, when an atom or a molecule is loaded with this kind of high level of energy, the lo they lose it by hitting the other atoms rapidly. And another way to lose their energy is formed as a result of this interaction is through absorption of this light. In this way, atoms absorb uh, the extra energy and spread this energy as a light waves in the sky, which we see as the auroras. And the spreading of energy as light leads to the emergence of the colorful night light shows seen in the sky. So uh, these are, there are very beautiful colors we see mm -hmm. on the pictures. Beautiful blues, beautiful yes. yellows and goldens and reds and the pinks. So how these colors determine? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. Auroras show quite similarity to the lights coming from colored televisions. In the television, ele, uh, television in the electron beams controlled by electric and magnetic fields in the image tube hits the screen and brighten it and according to the type of this phosphorus mm -hmm. chemical matter which covers the screen. This is how the television mm -hmm. works. And in the lights of an aurora, the color of the light which emerges will depend on the atoms of, and molecules colliding with the charged particles. Oxygen atoms, which can be found on the high altitudes, like 200 miles above the Earth, mm -hmm. are quite rare and they form a completely red aurora. Mm -hmm. And oxygen atoms, found at levels of altitude of 60 miles, form a most common uh, type of green and the yellow colors. And ionized atoms uh, produce blue color and blue shades. Neutral uh, nitrogen molecules produce red and purple colors and their shades. 
and auroras meet their new to fuel to form the light with the charged particles thrown from the sun. The more active the sun determines the more intense aurora become. Mm -hmm. When the times uh, comes, the uh, sun is more uh, activated. Uh, in these types, aurora is seen more visible, more mm -hmm. uh, colorful. They can be determined better in this way. So there's a thing we have to emphasize: why these auroras only form in the polar regions? The formation of the auroras at the pole is connected directly to the Earth's magnetic field and the magnetic field lines which direct these lights. The particles in the solar winds can reach the Earth from sections where the magnetic field mm -hmm. is zero and auroras can only occur only in this place, like the polar regions where the particles mm -hmm. can reach the Earth. And Earth's magnetic field's duty is work as a shield which protects the Earth. And from solar winds from the, uh, coming from the sun, mm -hmm. they protect the world yes. from the solar winds. Or else uh, there won't be life on Earth. Yes. And uh, Almighty Allah, our Lord, informed us about this mm -hmm. detail in the Quran, inshallah. And inshallah. I would like to read a verse about this subject. I seek refuge in Allah from the cure Satan. We adorn the lowest heaven with lamps and guarded it. That is a decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. It's from the Quran Surat Al-Fusilat, verse uh, 12. MashaAllah, Allah tells us directly that Allah protects the earth from the, with the shields, MashaAllah. And we can uh, see this scientifically pruned shields, which is told in the Quran 1,400 years ago, MashaAllah. Masha Masha and also, uh, we can see auroras also in other planets. We, uh, it is observed by the Hubble telescope. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are uh, more strong, uh, they are stronger than the Earth's auroras, they are in Jupiter and Saturn. Yes, and Masha also Allah. the ones in the observed in the Jupiter are, uh, are thousand times stronger, powerful than the ones observed in the Earth. And the formation of auroras on the Earth is because of solar winds. And the uh, source of auroras on Jupiter are its satellites. Masha Masha Allah. Allah. Masha Allah. And uh, it's a very beautiful visual effect when we see it, it's like a light show, mm -hmm. and but also it has some effects to our lives. Scientists are think that this aura mm -hmm. is not just a beautiful sky show, but also they have some effects in our lives. Despite their beautiful images, the benefits of the auroras produced can also be damaging phenomenon. And in 1989, in the city of Quebec in Canada, mm -hmm. a high electric current occurred on a night when there is some intense auroras. This current damaged the power station broke communication and it resulted nine million people without electricity. It means that oh there, are, uh, there is too much uh, energy in yes, Aurora. Yes, there is too much yes, current and yes. it literally makes darken a city. Nine yes. million people, it's a very big uh, uh, So we understand here that it, is, uh, it can be actually harmful to a uh, person, but uh, uh, Allah created them on the sky as a uh, protection, uh, as a shield. protection, yes. and they are uh, look beautiful to us, uh, so yes. we can see the creation of Allah. Mashallah, yes. Allah shows this, uh, like we talked about at the beginning yes. of the subject, Allah's name Sani, the yes. artist's name. Yes. Mashallah, Mashallah, Allah shows this artistry. They are also like curtains; they are waving yes. so beautiful. Mashallah. And also, how why should it be so beautiful to watch? Yes, it can be something like black, or in another color that we cannot recognize. But it is in a color that we can see it and we like it, we enjoy it. Yes, mashallah, alhamdulillah. During this aurora current, uh, current can reach up to 50,000 volts and 20 million amperes. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a very big energy yes. we talk very about high. here. And as a result of this high energy in the atmosphere, our current homes also begin to increase. When the uh, currents in our homes begin to increase and reach the 120 volts and exceeds the 15 to 30 amperes, the transmitter from the power station, which our mm -hmm. houses are connected, we cut off the electricity. In these times, we have the blackout. We yes, see because that. of the uh, high energy. Yes. And uh, we talked about, like we said, Allah's, uh, the auroras are Allah's superior uh, creation, mm -hmm. mashallah. And when we uh, look at them, we enjoy ourselves, yes. alhamdulillah. Yes. And it's Allah who created the seven heavens and of the earth, all the events taking place of in the universe, such as the movement of celestial bodies like millions of uh, years, uh, light years away mm -hmm. from us, and the events occurring in the sun are yes. of the rays are entering in the Earth's atmosphere, are several developments in the Earth's layers, are all the under control of our Almighty Lord Allah, Alhamdulillah. Yes, and our eyes are also connect, created as a proof to help in our thinking that Allah has power over everything.
Yes. Maşallah. And and com and compasses the, all the things. And with his infinite knowledge, when we thinking about uh, deeply about this great truth, it's the responsibility for every human being to think about what we see. These are the manifestations of mm -hmm. Allah. Yes. Maşallah. And Allah created them for a reason. They are not created for no reason. Yes. Allah created them for us to see and think yes. and thank Allah mm -hmm. and increase our space. Maşallah. And I would like to read a verse from the Quran. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Same number, the command descending down through all of them, so that you might know that Allah has power over all things, and that Allah encompasses all things in His knowledge. It's from Surat Al-Talak, verse 12. Mashallah. Mashallah.